Well, let's, I guess let's start with uh, a little warm up first. So let's start with just some arm swings. So keep the weight in the heels. Stack the body up, head reaching toward the ceiling, engage the core so you're not rocking all over the place. And then take the arms to the end ranges if it feels comfortable. And let's bring the arms together. Again, keeping the core strong enough so that you're not wiggling too much from front to back. And then now let's side to side. Let's keep the heels down first. And then let the heels come off and come up on the balls of the feet. So the bottoms of the feet get a stretch. And shake that out. Let's do some shoulder rolls front to back. And then back to front. Okay, now let's do some hamstring stretches because the man have been acting up lately. So let's just slide the hands down, stick the butt way out behind you and just go until it starts to feel tight. And I start right here. <laughs> Right now in this moment, they're pretty tight. And then as you slide back up, think about engaging the glutes to pull yourself back up and then slide back down again. I'll go a little farther. And then squeeze the glutes to come back up. One more time, much better. And squeeze the glutes to come back up. Okay, now let's do the hip flexors. And you can either take a step back and stretch this way, or you can bend the knee and, and pull the hip flexor. This way we get a little uh, calf too. And feel free to add any other little extra stretch. I feel like doing a little twist here. Okay, the other side. All right, let's come back up. Okay, grab your band. Hey, John. Good. I'm teaching a little class online. I'm teaching a class online it, it, into my tablet here. <laughs> a little Zoom class. So, all right, have a great day. Okay, all right, sounds good. So, step on each side of the band. So it's gonna kind of look like this from the side. So we're gonna do some easy squats. So you're just holding your band and then come up. And so if you want it to be more challenging, 
and less band between. But make sure the feet are pointing straight forward. Make sure the knees aren't falling in. Let the butt go really far up behind you. So my calves are staying almost vertical. So this is almost more like a, like a deadlift, a little bit of a squat. So as you really stick the tailbone out, you're really trying to deepen the low back curve and that stretches the hamstrings. And we're not in any rush. Just think of this as a little midday movement. I have no interest in sweating. Went for a walk this morning and it was, even though it was 6 a.m., it was plenty humid. I think it was almost 80 degrees still at that time of day. Okay, as you come up to the top, thinking of, think about squeezing the glutes and even pushing a little forward. Squeeze. Okay, now you can leave them standing on both sides. That keeps it nice and secure. We're gonna go ahead and just do a few bicep curls. Okay. You can take some slack out <laughs> or you can make it easier or harder depending on how much slack you have. All right, now let's pull up to about chest height. And here you may want to let some slack out. And I'll show you what we're gonna do and then you can decide. We're gonna just take the arms straight. And what you'll feel is a challenge in the core as well as a challenge in the arms. And we'll just do just do a few repetitions, maybe something around 10 or so. But really focus on the sensations in your body and not necessarily on how many reps you're doing. Shoulders should be relaxed. A wider stance and just the right foot on the band and really make sure you've got it nice and secure. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to hold the band with the two hands and go forward again. So now we've got the band only pulling in one from one direction. So our core has to engage differently. And we'll just do about 30 seconds of these. Excuse me. A couple more. And then let's go to the other side. Secure with the left. Create about the same amount of tension as you had before. And then forward backward, engaging through the glutes and the core as you need to, to keep your body as still as possible while your arms move. And we'll go for about 30 seconds. All right, let's leave it on the left side. This time I want you to create lots of slack. So just make sure it's secure down here. And then as you hold the band, the thumb should be up. 
Okay, you do not want your thumb turned down. Otherwise, it puts your shoulder in internal rotation and you have more opportunity to pinch, pinch things. So we're gonna go kind of from the hip, the left hip, it's secured at the left, left hip. We're gonna come up and out. So think about that shoulder staying down. And if you have any pain when you do that, then just go as far as you can before it gets painful. And you wanna think about keeping that core nice and still while we do our arms. And we'll just go for about another 10 seconds. And then we'll go to the other side. Okay, again, make sure that thumb is up and then lift. So a lot of our functional movements are more of a diagonal than a linear, like the bicep curl we did. And let's go for about another 15 seconds. I can feel a little clunk in my end range, so I'm not going as or far enough to get that clunk. Okay, let's keep it under the right foot, but you're going to have it coming back behind you. We'll do some tricep. So the thumb should be pointing behind you and then up. And then think about that elbow coming straight up, but it doesn't really matter if it's out a little bit, as long as it feels comfortable to you. Think about the shoulder being down, creating space between the earlobe and the top of the shoulder. And we'll go another 10. This is an area that gets really tight on me. So this feels good. Okay, let's put it behind the left foot. And we'll go for about 30 seconds again. You're practicing your good posture with your weight in your heels while you're standing here. All right. Okay, let's go back to some legs. So let's do a squat again. Give our arms a little bit of a rest. Okay, this time I'm gonna pull lots lower down on mine. Really stick that tush out and come up. Let's do these for about a minute. So go at whatever rate, the slow rate if you need to to last for a minute. A little bit longer. We're not just working on our muscles, we're also working on the lymphatic flow and the circulation. All right. Okay, let's take it behind us. 
So the band is behind us and you, you might want to be out farther or you might want to be in farther depending on how strong your band is. I'm just going to push out. Shoulders down away from the ears, weight in the heels. I was also moving furniture this morning, so <laughs> this is my third workout for the day. <laughs> Having a new couch delivered on Saturday. Donating my old one. There's a one of my clients as part of a organization that collects um, furniture that's in good condition uh, for refugee families that are coming into the area. So if any of you have anything that you might want to donate, I will give you their contact information. I cannot remember the name of it off the top of my head. All right, let's let that go down. All right, let's take a wider, let's do our rotations. So we'll take a wide grip and then all the way around, nice and slow, especially for the first few repetitions. As you get comfortable, then start to do the pull through. All right, let's do a little bit for the side body. So we'll step again on it and then we'll reach down nice and low. And then we're gonna really try not to be bending forward or backward. You're gonna stay in a nice line as you pull up and over. So try to focus on the sensation being here and here, kind of between you're stretching on one side as you contract between the ribs and the hips on the other side. And then let's go for about a minute. So your core needs to be a little bit turned on front and back to protect you from over over bending to protect that lower spine, but spine needs to be strong and flexible. All right, I said we weren't gonna sweat, but <laughs> noticing that the fan isn't on. So when we get done with this minute, I'm gonna turn the fan on. All right. Other side. I'm gonna reach down, wrap it around my hands, get myself in a nice line and over. All right, I need a little more. Okay, about a minute.
little bit longer. All right, that ought to do it. Okay, let's throw in a few more squats, but let's take them wider this time. So band or no band, up to you. And then let's go for about a minute. Might think about as you're coming up, straightening the knees all the way. Spend a lot of time sitting, straightening the knees. The knees can become just ever so slightly stuck in a bent position. Feels good to me too, because it pulls my shoulders down as I come to the top. We all need that. All right. Okay, I've got just a couple minutes left. Um, I'm kind of feeling some more rotations, but this time I'm gonna take my hands in a little closer together so that I have to really stretch the band as I do the rotations. And what that does, especially as you come back, it opens the chest a little bit more because it pulls the arms back in the rotation. Now it is a little harder to come out so be extra careful as you come up. That's uncomfortable. Then just take a wider grip on your bands. Band, uh, collective bands. Oh, I remember one more I wanted to do. Okay, we'll have just enough time to do this on each side. Okay, so we're gonna take one arm back and I would give yourself a little slack. So one arm is forward. I got my left arm forward and then I'm gonna reach back. So I'm kind of keeping my core engaged, but a little rotation through my shoulders. I'm pulling my right shoulder blade toward the spine as I come back. Can't see the clock here. Let's go for about another 15 seconds. All right, Whew. that one's hard, okay. Right arms forward, left arm reaches back. Go for 30 seconds. Pull that shoulder blade toward the spine. All right, okay, let's put that down and we'll go back to our swings. Now that we've got blood really flowing in the muscles, the joints, and let that little, the bouncy movements support that. And then arms together, find those end ranges.
And shoulder rolls back. Shoulder rolls forward. Okay, and then let's go ahead and just let the heels come up, stretch the feet. Right. Let's just take a little controlled articulation for the neck. Just find that end range. And just skim that end range a few times. Okay. All right. I think that will. Do it. Thank you. Um, and since